Now, this is the fly I'm going to be tying. It's basically called the balloon caddis. The two sizes, two main sizes I'm going to be tying. Uh, in this case, it's a size 10 and a size 12 for this brown caddis. Now, this style of fly was originally tied by a gentleman called Roman Moser. Now, it's a great pattern to have. It sits very low in the water. It's not one of these high top fly floating flies. It's basically one you can pull. And uh, it sits very low. Sometimes you want a fly to sit high. If you want it sitting a wee bit higher, then you'd be using something like a, a bubble caddis or so, CDC. There's many patterns you could use. But the chocolate brown colour is a very popular caddis pattern, especially for Ireland. Good for the elder and so on. Anyway, took choice. I'm using this is a fully mill. It's a short shank special, size 12. Now, Shank's equivalent to a 14, but it's a gape, it's equivalent to a size 12. They're really good for caddis type patterns, I like them. Uh, nice medium wire, but strong. Thread I'm going to be using is the Uni Thread 8O in dark brown. You start with thread at the eye. Come down about, say, a third of the way. And then I'm going to catch in. This is some clear wrap. This is from uh, Uni, as you can see. It's a, it's a medium thickness, I'll show you. Standard thickness is there, you can see. Now with the size of fly I'm tying, I need it thinner. So what I do is I put it back into the spool, we slit there, and then I give it a stretch before I take it off, and reduce the width by around about half, and then trim away. So we can catch this in the way down, then I'm going to come slightly around the bend, come back up a turn or two. A dubbin, this dubbin, this is one I've blended myself. Basically, what it is is a brown SLF, or you could use a seals fur, and I've mixed in some dyed brown CDC fibres. Just a blend, it's a light blend. I can show you the, the CDC. It's a chocolate brown. So what basically what I do is I sacrifice a few feathers or I keep the waste. That when I'm using up the tips, I'll keep the waste and then I'll cut them off. You can show you here. So what I do is I put it into a bag, to keep all the waste ends, and then I use that for dubbing. And I blend it into a, a, a nice dubbing like you would use for your dry fly. Just use a bit of, I use a coffee, uh, coffee grinder just to sort of blend it in. So easy to dub as well. You just lightly dub it onto your, your thread. And then we can put it on. Now it helps float the fly. A nice light dry, uh, light dubbing. And then we just build up our body. Caddis body is quite heavy so don't be shy with it. Take it up two thirds of the way. And then remove what you don't need. I'm purposely keeping it quite loose, but when I bring the rib up, I want it to basically sink in. So, looking around about four turns or so, four or five. Anything going forward, just draw it back and see that last half turn, just bring it up. Catch this in. Make sure it's secure in about three or four turns. And draw back any fibres it wants to go, like that one there, it wants to go over the eye. So, just take it back and then use the thread turns to hold it. Now what I'm going to do here is bring out some of that loose dubbing. Just make sure your thread's out of the way. I'm just using a velcro, piece of velcro and a lollipop stick. Any two fibres that's that bit long, you can trim them away. If you want a wee bit flatter underneath, just turn it upside down and trim. And then we're ready for our wing. Now I'm using an elk here dyed brown. Now the elk here is it's quite a stiff fibre, so it stays quite quite low, doesn't sort of air up, doesn't it flare up like a lot of the, the deer hair fibres. Now you've trimmed it away, open the fibres out and take away, especially the under fur, because I'm going to stack it. Because if you look at the fibres, the fibre lengths all over the place, and I want to bring that in, so basically what I do, Tips first into my stacker and tap it on your desk. 
and check to see if it's lined up. You can see there its tips are all lined up. And remove it from the stacker. Looking for a length, at least twice the length of the body. So we hold that. And then we basically trim around about 2mm for that point. And then we can tie it in. Now before I do that, just run the wax through once. And then we can cut the thread turns in. One, two, three turns, a couple, of, a couple more. Because what I want to do here is basically slightly roll the wing. Just tap it with tap your finger here, just so it kind of rolls. You're happy with the position, and you can then tighten up. There we go. So we end up with a thread at the eye. We can lower the wing a wee bit more, but simply just pushing the fibres forward, which creases here, and then we can press, and that gives you that nice sort of low wing that you like to see in a caddis sometimes. So then you get I've got some foam, two mil foam, thick foam, and I'm going to cut it around right about four. going to tear it so it tapers and then I'm going to tie this on for over the eye with the waist end just in the thorax area so then we can make sure that's tied in make sure you're up against up towards the eye we turn there just to make sure it's neat and then I'm going to get some more of the dubbing now I'm going to work the dubbing towards the wing so I'm going to basically dub on the thread I dub it onto the thread and then work towards the wing and again, I'm going to be quite light, so we lightly dub it on, and we can tighten when we need to, just allowing the fibres to spring out and work our way towards the wing. Just check where we are, that's fine. Take away the excess, then we can bring, bring the foam over, nice and tight. You want at least four or five turns. Keep the keep a hold of the thread, don't let it go. And then what I like to do is put a bit of varnish onto the thread, about say half an inch from the the fly, and then we quite finish. You'll see the varnish on the thread there, so when I'm winding through, forming or tying it off, tighten up, that that will basically seal it. Get your foam, get a wee just a wee stretch. Trim it about maybe a mill or two, or a mill or so from the the end, so we got nice it flares out there. And then what I like to do, is get my velcro, and then bring out. Now you may see a wee bit of varnish on the fibre there, but you can brush that out. It's the only way you get a decent sort of sealing the the whip finish by doing that. So don't worry if you get a bit. Of a bit of varnish on it, you can always brush it out. There you go. Now the, the balloon caddis will basically sit low, sit practically flat on the surface, and times you need that. If you're happy with the shape of your fly, then you can basically that shoe. And that's the brown or chocolate brown balloon caddis. So. I hope you enjoyed that.